going to show you guys today how to do a crochet bobble stitch. It doesn't really matter what size hook you're using, it just depends on the project, but just to show you guys I'm using an eye and this is just regular yarn. And just start with a loop on your hook and you want to chain an even number. So I've got 10 and then you're going to chain two extras and you're going to yarn over and insert your hook and drop a loop four more times. Two, three, four, five. And then you're just going to yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook and chain one. And then you're going to single crochet into the next chain. And that makes your bobble on the opposite side. You'll see what I mean when I turn it over. So then the next one you're going to yarn over and into the next chain drop a loop four more times two three four five yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook and chain and do a single crochet into the next chain your bobbles will kind of start to to curl in but just try and keep them out of the way as best you can Yarn over and into the next chain five times. One, two, yarn over, three, yarn over, four, yarn over, five. Yarn over and pull through all the loops and chain. And then single crochet in the next chain. Yarn over into the next chain. One, two, three, four, Five. and chain, single crochet, <laughs> I'm trying to get in the way, one, two, three, four, five, yarn over, and then single crochet into your last chain, and then you're going to want to chain one and turn your work over. So you can see my little line of bobble stitches here. So it's going to look like it's going to curl for a while until you have some more rows on there to keep it from curling. So now on this row, you need to work a line of single crochets on this row. Otherwise, if you did bobble stitches, your bobbles would be on the back side of the next row and you want all your bobbles to be on the front. So I'm just going to work a single crochet in every stitch across. Don't forget those little ones where you just did a little single crochet. It's pretty easy to see where you need to work, so you shouldn't miss any. And then you're just going to chain one and turn it. For every other row, you should make your first stitch on the bobble row a single crochet instead of just starting out with a bobble. That's going to help kind of offset your stitches so that they fit in with each other nicely instead of stacking one on top of the other. So I'm going to do a single crochet in the first and then bobble in the second. One, two, three, four, five, oh, sorry, five, yarn over and pull through, chain, and single crochet into the next. One, two, three, four, five, yarn over, single crochet, one, Two, three, four, five, single crochet, one, 
two, three, four, five, and single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. and then chain one at the end of your row to go back single crochet on the next row. You can see how making this single crochet when I started this row down here kind of made this bobble sit in between these two so your rows aren't going to come out, come out strange. So you're just going to crochet, single crochet back down this way and then when you turn again you'll make a bobble stitch as your first stitch. So every other time you make a bobble row you'll start it with a single crochet and every other one you will just start with a bobble.